Hello, I'm Tim Coupler from Human Synergistics, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Human Synergistics and a growing collaboration we have with Whitfleet. Human Synergistics is one of the top workplace culture pioneers, and culture is obviously becoming a very hot topic in the popular press, but unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation that exists. Many organizations feel they don't truly understand their culture, and many feel they don't have the right culture. They also don't understand what to do about culture change in the event they do feel a change is necessary. So Human Synergistics has been around over 40 years. We have a number of offices across the world. Our mission's changing the world one organization at a time. So we have a very strong focus on organizations that are making an impact in society, like nonprofits, foundations, government organizations, healthcare, education, but we've also worked with thousands of for-profit organizations across every major industry. Just a little bit more information about Human Synergistics. We're based in the Chicago area. I'm actually in Plymouth, Michigan, and then we also have an office in Emeryville, California. We don't do consulting internet in, internally. It's always done in partnership with consulting partners like Whipfleet, so it's a good fit. We have a long history of developing many different products that fall under the same culture umbrella, but our most widely known prod product is the organizational culture inventory. It's the most widely used culture assessment in the world and the most heavily researched culture assessment. One thing I'm very proud about is the collaboration of culture experts and pioneers that we've been building to bring some clarity to this subject across many thought leaders. Um, I started CultureUniversity.com. We have a growing collaboration with Edgar Schein from MIT, MIT, who's arguably the number one culture expert in history. We also hold an annual Ultimate Culture Conference each year and featured uh, Zappos, Intel, Google, Josh Burson, Edgar Schein, Daryl Connor, and others this year. I'm our Director of Culture and Organization Development. I'll be the lead interface with Whipfly and have about 20 years of experience in the culture development space. A number of those years was a top leader of uh, an automotive organization as VP and GM across many different uh, divisions. Before I moved to consulting, I also started CultureUniversity.com and lead our collaboration with Edgar Schein and absolutely love supporting projects with consulting partners. One big difference between human synergistics and most, most other assessment providers is we focus on the work climate and the work culture. So most of what people see out there when it comes to culture is actually about the work climate. Are we good at teamwork? How are we at managing change? How are managers and supervisors treating employees, that's all very important, but we also wanna understand the underlying culture because if there's any issues with the work climate, there's often some underlying cultural drivers. So we look at the expectations, the norms, the unwritten rules driving people's behavior every day. So do people feel they're expected to never, never make a mistake, always be checking with their boss or not rock the boat? So we get a language around these behavioral norms and expectations and a measurement that can be very powerful. Everything's integrated in what we call a how culture works framework where we get a picture of their ideal culture, which is based on their values and beliefs. We compare that to the current culture, which is the current norms, expectations, unwritten rules, driving people's behavior. It's the current culture that's driving outcomes that we measure at the individual team and organization level. And then we also measure levers for change, which help to explain the gap that often exists between what organizations espouse and what currently exists. We integrate our work with um, the current approaches that are used as consulting partners. And often that's done around these four phases where we're clear about the purpose of any culture related work, we facilitate leadership planning and leadership alignment. We facilitate engaging the broader organization and improvement plans. And then of course, managing the change and connecting it to individual and team development efforts. 
as I mentioned, we have a wide range of project products taking things to the team and individual level because culture transformation starts with individual transformation. So we're often integrating use of tools at the org team and individual level. Look forward to working with you on any projects that may surface. One other thing that sets human synergistics apart, I believe, is this strong focus on business challenges and mission priorities that may exist in organizations. So when you see these challenges come up at clients, uh, please think of culture and possibly utilizing our tools and services to support your engagements. Thanks so much. Goodbye.